What's up? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. As you can see, silver has slightly surpassed the $15 mark. And uh, let's hope it continues to go up. But in the meantime, do take advantage of these prices. So I do believe uh, silver is going to have a good year in 2020. That is just my opinion though. Right off the bat here, show you what I got. We have a buffalo bar. And a real nice shiny finish. Picked up a couple of these, but I do not own any of these particular style. They are made by RMC, as you could see. Yeah, very pretty bars. I picked up two of those. <clears throat> Please excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. Picked up another RMC here. I'm sure a lot of you <clears throat> at Stack have seen those. Have two Silver Towns here. And I picked up I don't know what my camera has against Silver Town. But it just <laughs> seems like it won't focus in on most Silver Town bars. I think it's just a coincidence. That's pretty cool right there. Silver Town. <clears throat> Another Silver Town. This is a real pretty bar. And then got some vintage there. I'm trying to pick up as much vintage as I can because I just enjoy it. So here we got these are made by Worldwide Mint. And these were made in 1981. Picked up four of these. And uh, most of these that I picked up have a lot of toning. Yeah, I thought these were really cool bars, though. I picked up four of those, and you can see on some of these the toning is a lot worse than others. Worldwide Mint, 1981. Oh, yeah, look at the back of that. So, I mean, it does give a character. Not, not decided yet if I want to go ahead and try to clean it up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So you have four of those and got an angle hard. And they stopped producing these in the mid 80s. So these actually do carry a premium. I didn't pay a premium on this, they just sell it a dollar over spot. 
all their bars. But yeah, so if, uh, if you do stack and you ever come across the Inglehards, pick them up. I don't have any of their poured bars, but I really like how their poured bars look. So I picked that up. And last but not least here, I thought it was kind of fitting. Father's Day is right around the corner. So, this is a 1974 oh, Father's Day bar. And I guess it's got everything that fathers like to do on there. Like baseball, fishing, tennis, and bowling. <laughs> yeah, had to pick this up. A little Father's Day gift to myself. Because if I wouldn't have picked it up, somebody else would. And this is made by <clears throat> Madison Mint. And I featured a Madison Mint in my previous video. It was the high wheeler. And I believe these are from the mid 80s as well. So there we go, yep. I like that bar a lot there. Hope the camera's picking it up as good as as I would like it to. Alright, next video I'm going to go ahead and feature some other things I picked up over the weekend. And I think that you would like them as much as I do. So, I would like to thank everybody for stopping by, watching my video. If you do like it, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, have a great day.